Cena's Corner. What's up, guys? All right, real quick, I'm going to do a video here on iMovie and how to actually do picture in picture. I'm doing this because uh, one of the people I follow uh, just got a new Mac and he's having some problems with that. And I was going to do kind of like a little seriousness anyway, so no better time than the present. So we'll just take my last video that I did early, which is my Cena's Corner 3 years video just for this demonstration. What you want to do first is you want to go up here to iMovie and you want to make sure in preferences that you have show advanced tools check marked. If you do not have show advanced tools check marked, then you're not going to be able to do picture in picture mode, green screening and whatever. So make sure you have that checked first. Now when it comes to uh, iMovie as far as pictures, you cannot import a picture into iMovie at all. You can import from camera, you can import movies only. Even if they are in iPhoto, you cannot import them in here. I have tried that before and it doesn't work. The only way to do that is to simply drag and drop. So I'll take uh, my picture, one of the pictures I have in PAX E, so the rock band sign, and I'll just simply pick a spot to put it, and I'll drag, and I'll drop it. When I drop it, as you see, then I have a menu. Replace, insert, cutaway, picture in picture, side by side, green screen, blue screen, and cancel. Now, I'll go over some more of these at a different time, but we're only concerned with today is picture in picture. So if you click picture in picture here, my picture appears. Now, as you can see, there is four white edges on the corners here. This means that I can actually move this picture anywhere that I want it to be. So I can put it over here. I can put it down here. Wherever I want it to go, I can place this picture. Uh, I can also uh, change the size of this picture, as you can see right here. Okay, so let's say we have our picture set where I want it to be. I come down here, I click on the main timeline, and then I want to go ahead and check it out how it looks by just hitting From the play to now. There's and you see the picture appears. Now, as you can see, the Kim Burns effect there? is already in there. In other words, that makes the picture move, you know, um, zoom in or zoom out, however it's going to do it. If you don't want that, what you do is you want to make sure you go up to the top. As, uh, to where that picture is. Not here on the main, but on the actual picture. And you're going to click this little settings button here. And it's going to come out and you're going to have cropping, Kim burns, and rotation. You go ahead and click on that and you can actually trim where the, how uh, far the Kim burns goes out within that red and green border. Or you can hit fit. And if you hit fit, then it takes the Kim burns away. Then you want to make sure you hit done and now, if you play the clip, there's a number of people watching this video. You'll see that the picture doesn't move. All right, so that was just my quick video on how to do picture in picture in iMovie. Um, there's many other things you can do in iMovie. If you guys like this and need more tutorials on it, let me know. And I will go ahead and run a series on that. But I made this for those out there who don't know how to do this. And especially for my man, shout out to Kevin Kraft. He just got a new Mac and he needs some help. So I'm doing this especially for him. All right, guys. So that's it. Till next time, I say peace, love, keep rocking out. We're going to catch you guys the next time.